Okay. One of the hard parts of this one, there's a couple tough pieces. Figuring out where the ion is is the first tough part. What here do you recognize? Nitrate. The nitrite, yeah. Uh, it's a nitrate, yeah, you're right. So if this is minus, this one here is the plus. You might not have seen it before. It looks like what though? It looks like a hydrocarbon, but there's like a nitrogen in place. Uh, one of the carbons. Yes, yeah, so let me do on scratch paper here. When you see nitrogen, you want to think ammonia. Okay, right. and this actually looks like not NH3, but NH4 plus, where this part is the fourth hydrogen. Okay, so these H's on the, here, this is the, you already know, is this an acid or a base, by the way? Yeah, it's an acid. The conjugate base is NH3. So, any of these, I'll just put a variable, I'll call it R, okay? R can be anything, it could be a hydrogen, it could be carbons, whatever. If there's four of them, this is an acid, okay? And take the equivalent, NH3, doesn't have to be three hydrogens, it could be three anythings. So N, I'll just call it R. And ammonia, what's that? Acid or base? Base. So both of these are bases. Is that okay? Something to remember about um, nitrogen compounds, you're going to see them a lot. And they'll put these really ugly things on here to confuse them. Confuse you? This is just NH4+, plus, the equivalent of it. Is that okay? It acts the same way. It's still the same. So I kind of gave you the answer by saying all that stuff. But uh, CH3... And H three plus, just write all that down. Okay, I just separated them out. Let's do the right hand side first, it'll be a little easier. So this I'm gonna add an H to write the conjugate. Remember, I like to write the conjugate and figure out what that is first. This conjugate is a what? Strong acid. So the original is what? Neutral. The conjugate of a strong acid is neutral. Okay? Now let's do the a slightly harder case here. Uh, in this case, when you have ammonia compounds, it's up to you if you want to write down the conjugate or not. It's somewhat irrelevant because you can just know, oh, that's, if I see this, it's an acid. If it looks like this, it's a base. So I already know this is an acid. So one of the things, uh, yeah? Uh, can you explain how that's an acid again? Do you know why NH4 plus is an acid? No. Do you know why ammonia is a base? I guess no. Okay, ammonia is a base. It has a lone pair right here. Okay. It's an electron pair donor. So by definition, from the Lewis theory, this is a base. Bases have electron pairs to donate? Yes. Yeah. Somewhere on the compound, there'll be a lone pair to donate. So the, can you see how the conjugate is here of ammonia? These two are conjugates. This one has the proton. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't. After grabbing a proton, it'll look like this. Okay, and then in that situation? Here? Yeah. Okay, you want to think it doesn't just have to be hydrogens on here. It could be any four items. Here has three hydrogens, and one, what's called a uh, methyl group. Okay. That's four things. Gotcha. That's the acidic category. Okay. I've had three items. Also, the plus charge is a big hint. Yeah. <laughs> if you have nitrogen with a plus charge, there's definitely going to be four other things, and it's definitely an acid. Gotcha. If you have a nitrogen with three other things and neutral, and it always comes in that combination, three other things and neutral, no matter what those three things are, it's a base. And that's the equivalent of ammonia. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So when the ammonia grabs a proton, an H plus, where does that electron pair go? It doesn't seem like it goes anywhere. It does. So I'll write it down here, kind of uh, maybe a different color. It's the we saw this a little earlier here in the office hours. An H three plus water, right on your simple equation, goes to NH four plus. Plus OH minus. 
be like, oh, here's the base, here's the conjugate acid. So, okay, so there's where we get our base conjugate acid stuff. Now, this has a lone pair. What it did, uh, and I'll draw this out like this. This grabbed that hydrogen. Is that okay? Uh, oh, this water has two lone pairs. This lone pair went right th that bond, it doesn't just stay dangly there, it just goes on to the oxygen. That's why hydroxide has three lone pairs, if you draw out the Lewis structure. Now, on this one, what's going to happen? It's NH3, but now it's grabbed one of those. That lone pair now becomes a bond. It reached out and grabbed something, now it's holding on to it. We call that a bond. And we count the formal charge now. There's four things uh, around that ammonia, and there should be five. So it's a plus one. So that comes from, the plus comes from the formal charge, and the lone pair becomes a bond. That always happens. A lone pair will turn into a bond. A bond will always turn into a lone pair. Okay. So the ammonia compound didn't really gain any electrons, it just took a proton, right? Yeah, there's no electron t transfer, but it donates the electron to, to here. But it's still with it on the bond. But we consider this electron donation. Yeah, and we consider this, from its perspective, it receives the lone pair. This is lo uh, electron pair acceptor, so we call this the acid. Okay? So, we're going back to where we were. Now we realize we have an acid and a neutral. It's case two, that's an acid. You got an acid and a neutral thing together, you're going to get an acid. So. Is that okay? Would you like to see more? I have a question. So, yeah, sure. were, we didn't add the OH to the CH3 and H2 plus? We didn't. No. I didn't need to. Because it just. You know, I already true. know. Do you know if it's strong or weak, though? That's a good question. Anybody know? Are they strong or weak? Is this strong or weak acid? And conversely, is this a strong or weak base? Weak. Weak, because not on the table. Okay. Yeah. All ammonia compounds are going to be weak. It, I should say, all nitrogen compounds that look like this will be weak, whatever they are. So that A right there on the CH3 industry bus should be WA? I'm, yeah, anything that's not strong, I just label it acid or base. Okay. Yeah, if you want to put W's in there, you can. I stopped doing that because it confused people to say that the conjugate of a weak acid is a weak base. It's more like comparatively, but I just stopped doing that just for teaching purposes. But you can do that on your paper if you want. Okay. That's how I used to do it.